Hello and welcome back to my class. Summer is almost here. Or is it summer already? I'm gonna take you to a little art travel today. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Let's imagine ourselves in a beautiful poppy field. Many artists were amazed by the beauty of his flowers. So as they did before, we are also going to create our landscape with poppy field today. So I'm gonna show you two styles of painting your landscape they're similar, but they're different in a way. So please watch this video from the beginning till the end and then choose the one that you like better. As you can see, we only need three colors today, yellow, blue, and red. We're gonna use a brush, some green pastels. We need a napkin and a piece of paper. And don't forget the water, of course. So here we go, part one. You're gonna start drawing from the bottom of your page you can see I'm doing the strokes with my green pastel and it's a little darker in the front. As you can tell, this is for the grass and the stems of your flowers. So when you're done with that, you take some yellow color, water your brush and start making brush strokes right over your pastel drawing. This is how we create our field. Don't forget to clean your brush when you change the colors. Just like we did with yellow, we're going to make wide brush strokes with blue. And now we're done with the sky. So for the flowers, you're going to use your finger. Dip it in the red paint and just start tapping on your paper. As you notice, the size of the flowers is a bit different. The ones that you imagine closer to you should be bigger. You can paint as many flowers as you want. Just keep dipping your finger in your red paint. And after all, don't forget to wash your hands. So here it is, your landscape is ready. So for the second part, I have more sophisticated painting technique for you. We'll start almost the same as we did with the first one. Again, we apply this pastel strokes on the bottom of your picture, but you can mix different shades of green, two or even more. You need to use a bigger brush for the sky, if you have one. Remember, your paint needs to be more watery this time. And the strokes are not going to be straight. See, I'm turning and twisting my brush right and left, up and down. I'm going all over the upper part of my painting to create the effect of the clouds in the sky. Make sure your paint is pretty loose. Don't forget to add water to it. And some strokes can be thicker, some brighter. You will see how it goes. You can mix yellow and blue together. You know what happens. It becomes green. You can try applying a couple of green strokes right where the sky meets the ground in your picture. It's called a horizon line. And then you can add more yellow. Now, if you have a small brush, you can use it for painting your flowers. Take a bit of color, mix it with water, and paint these little dots here and there. but you still can use your finger if you like it more because I think it's fun. Now you can finish your picture here or there's something for those of you who really enjoy painting. Mix different shades of green and use a smaller brush. You can make little strokes of green on your horizon line to paint the background of your picture. It looks like a forest behind the field. You can even use two brushes at the same time with different shades of green. So after your painting is complete, don't forget to clean your brushes. So when you look at these two pictures, you see they tell you the same story but in different ways. 
I wanted to try different styles of painting and to have fun. Okay, when your picture is completely dry, don't forget to write your name. Send it to me to this email and I'll see you next week. Bye!